Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to create Mario in a hyper-realistic, a coloured pencil, a graphite and an x-ray style. We're going to start by sketching our outline for Mario. So with a light hand pressure, loose interrupted lines, we create the face, the nose, the eyes and that well-known moustache that we all know and love. The bottom left, the realistic parts. With your eraser, erase some of the drawing to only leave a little faint line, then start from the edges of the outline. You need really sharp colored pencils for this, it's really important. So draw with small, slow hand movements, circular movements. And also, don't forget you need to layer the colors, don't work too fast. The layers need to work one above the other, really slowly. Do leave some white areas for the highlights as it will look much better than if you erase later on. It will look more natural. And we also want to do some blending with the lighter colours such as the beige that is the skin tone we're using, a beige red. Now we're doing the eyes or the eye portion of this half. The nose going from light to dark here. And as we get to that famous moustache we draw the individual hairs one by one in the direction of the moustache filling that light empty space like so same for the ear starting from the outer edge and going Edwards this is our realistic Mario for the second part of our drawing of Mario we're going to do him in a cartoon style with coloured pencils so keep your tools sharp but you are going to apply more hand pressure here as we're working in blocks of colour here, it's really important to choose the correct colours for your Mario using the colour chart. And there's no blending or fading here, it's an even patch of colour applied everywhere. So make sure you choose your colours correctly and that you have a really thick outline to begin with. Once you've boldened your outline, go for it with your blocks of colour and make him into the cartoon style. For the black and white Mario, I'm using graphite pencil and only using two pencils, 8B and HB. Once the outline is correct and made bold again, like for the cartoon, with a sharp pencil, I'm going to start shading from the edges and work inwards. You can use different hand pressures and remember to leave some negative space for highlights rather than erasing later on. Carefully control your hand pressure for the different parts of the drawing, for the light and the shade and the different elements of your work. The pupil is the darkest area and if you need to lift off any colour you can do so with your tools such as the kneaded eraser and work gradually from the edges inwards, small circular hand movements varying your hand pressure. Don't rush, try and enjoy the process. For the fourth part, the x-ray version of Mario, you can be a bit more creative. So working on the skeleton, you can omit the hair and the ear for example. And you can use colour pencils to show the bones and the muscles. Making the skeleton structure bold with a black pencil. Then filling it in with colour at an even pressure rate like the cartoon for example. For this part you can either work from reference image of a skeleton or from your imagination. Enjoy getting creative. <laughs> 